coalition was perfect for a year where we do almost nothing. Mm -hmm. But as the new mayor of Montreal, I want to do many things. It's time to start again Montreal. And for that, we need to have a majority and a common values to share the, the, same, the same concept of what should be the future of Montreal. And this is a political party, not a coalition. I don't want to negotiate every day on every topic. The main issue is the exodus of middle classes and especially young families to suburbs. In the last 12 years, during the three mandates of Gérald Tremblay and Union Montréal, we lost 260,000 people. This is the net loss, 260,000 people to surrounding suburbs, seen from the point of view of the city of Montreal. It means that we lose our middle classes and for sure we win new population from uh, abroad. But uh, when they, they come here, they are not at the same level uh, on, uh, on the average of earnings, all these things. And it means that year after year, the population of Montreal is poorer and poorer. You see, this is a, I don't know how to translate that, a cercle vicieux. Uh, year after year, we are poorer and poorer, the city is poorer and poorer, but the, the needs to, 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 to give services to the, our population comes greater and greater. And we have to reverse that. It will be difficult to find the right equilibrium in the budget or to invest in development of Montreal and in the same time to keep on investing on the, our water and sewer and all these other infrastructure that are very old and they, we have and they were let alone for 30 years. We did nothing during 30 years. We still have to, to continue this uh, effort. But in the same time, if it means that we will do only that, I don't agree with that. It will be a balance between investment in new things and refreshing our, our infrastructures. Mr. Coder came uh, on the municipal scene five months ago and Mr. Cote uh, last month. And uh, what they say, we should only invest in new buses. And s having said that, to oppose to my project of tramway, they also oppose to the extension of the, of, the, of the metro. Because if you oppose to the tram because it's too expensive, it is five times less expensive than the extension of the metro. And that will be the first time in the last 50 years that officials and a mayor at City Hall will, will oppose to the extension of the, the metro. If you believe them, nothing will be possible anymore in Montreal. Montreal will, 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 will stay in this vicious circle of being poorer and poorer year after year and having more and more problems linked with the fact that our population is poorer. What benefits does the tram system bring? Many benefits. In terms of transport, it's a wonderful mean of transport. Very comfortable, very beautiful, very attractive, and very efficient. And people will love the tram when they will see it. It's, a, it's, it's like a, a magnet for, for urban development. And we saw that all around the world. The last example that I, uh, that I knew very well is when they did that in uh, Bordeaux, south of France. And uh, five years later, there is 30,000 inhabitants in the inner city, the, the city of Bordeaux itself. People have begun to move from suburbs to the city again. They have reverse what we call urban sprawl. Now it's a urban recover. In dynamic cities, I always saw the same thing. You invest in the quality of life in the core city by transit, by reshaping public space, and by limiting gradually the, 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 car, the car in the city. To reduce traffic downtown it's a, is only a mean to make downtown more attractive for people who will live there. Live there. Leave, live, live there. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
always have a problem with that. And my, my real, just, just remember, my objective is to keep middle classes on the island of Montreal. I propose that we consider the next election as the most important of the last 25 years and as an opportunity to change the way Montreal is leaded and Montreal is developed. If the population said no, it's okay, we, we liked the way it was the 20 years before with Mr. Tremblay and before him with Mr. Uh, Bourke and we want to, to, to stay there's no change we like it and that's all come on my, my, my opinion is that the population will realize that we have to change the way the kind of people that are at the end of Mont uh, Montreal and to be again ambitious for this city ambitious but just keeping in mind that we're not that rich <laughs> but to be ambitious again I think that this election can be a turning point for Montreal and I work for that to, to, to make it happen we will see November the 4th what will be their decision.